Living in the jungle means living in really warm and humid conditions. And you know what? I think that my boy Donkey Kong deserves a break from being hot all the time. Today, we'll be playing all of the Donkey Kong games and we'll try to get in the water ASAP. We need to touch it or swim in it, so the rain doesn't count for this challenge. Alright, subscribe and let's just jump into it! The first Donkey Kong game on NES makes us play as Jumpman, and not Donkey Kong, which means that my boy up here will not get to touch water, and that's a bummer. But here's what's even worse, I played through all levels of this game, and well, there's just no water whatsoever. Huh, well, we're off to a great start, aren't we? Donkey Kong Jr. is the second game, and in this one we play as, well, DK Jr. trying to save our dad from that evil plumber Mario. And just by looking at the first level, I was already pretty happy. There's water right from the get-go, so we did it in 5 seconds. Heck yeah! Donkey Kong 3 is next, and we don't play as Donkey Kong in that game either. Dang! So in this game we are supposed to spray stuff at DK's butt to make him climb those two ropes. Yeah, weird concept. 1983 was a different time. Anyways, as you can see, I don't see any water here. I played through all of the levels and there's just no water anywhere. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Donkey Kong on Game Boy is up, and in this game, we still don't play as Donkey Kong! I can't believe this! Anyways, let's play the game and... oh, well, it's just a remake of the arcade Donkey Kong. So let's beat all of the levels and... Wait a minute! I got baited! This is a brand new game! With levels and puzzles to solve and everything! Alright, let's hope we can find some water quickly. The first world, city, is full of trash cans, electric poles and other hazards. But alas, there is no water. I had to fight Donkey Kong twice to beat the world and it took quite a while. Eventually, I reached the second one, forest. And this level over there was very intriguing. I mean, it is located on top of a lake, so there might be some water. After playing for a bit more, I ended up visiting the level and, oh my gosh, look at all that water! Okay, sure, there are evil piranhas that want to eat my Mario butt, but I am swimming, so everything is Gucci. Heck yeah! Well, finally, a Donkey Kong game where we play as Donkey Kong. This took a while, so yeah. The first level does contain enemies, barrels, and tons of bananas, but no water. The second level, on the other hand, does feature rain, but if you remember the rules from earlier, rain just won't cut it for this journey. We need to be able to stand in the water and touch it. This means that we're gonna have to beat the cave level, but right after that we'll go to this one, and just by looking at the world map, I know it's gonna be good. Yes, it's an underwater level, so we can finally swim! Yes! Donkey Kong Land is up, and make no mistake, this might look like a Game Boy port of Donkey Kong Country, but no, it's a whole separate game! Hopefully, it also features some water. Well, guess what? I was playing the game normally, just, you know, minding my own business, trying to beat the level with my boy Rambi, and then I accidentally broke this wall, and this led me to an underwater bonus section. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting this, but I am super happy. That's the good stuff. Here's DKC2 Diddy's Conquest, the sequel to the other SNES game, and this one takes place on an island, so finding water might be simple, who knows. The first level features water in the background, but we cannot reach it, sadly. Rambi will allow us to clear this one quite fast, though. The second level doesn't even feature water, so it is a total waste of time. The third level is full of enemies, but no water once more. The fourth level, on the other hand, takes place inside of a sunken ship, 
so after falling down, we can just go to the right and water! Yay! Well, that was actually a pretty good time we got there. Donkey Kong Land 2 is the sequel to the first Game Boy game, but this time, well, it's not trying to be its own game anymore. It's trying to be like Donkey Kong Country 2, but for Game Boy. So that means the first level is a boat level and there's no water in there. The second and third level don't feature any water either. And once more, we'll have to get to the fourth level. And guess what? Once again, it takes place in a sunken ship, so jumping in the water and swimming will be done in no time. Yo, it's DKC3, the third and final game in the original SNES trilogy. And one thing I do remember about this game is that the world map is full of water, so touching it will probably take no time at all. Let's start the game and... Dixie jumps in the water. But I'm not controlling anything, this is a cutscene. So I had to wait for the cutscene to actually end, and then I just went back to jump in the water, and voila, we did it in less than 20 seconds. Heck yeah, boy! It's Donkey Kong Land 3, baby! And it's a port of DKC3, so hopefully we'll swim in the water as soon as we boot up the game. Alright, let's see. Oh no, the world map is different, and there's no water to swim into. Okay, it's alright. I'm sure this first level will eventually feature some water. Yes, right there, there's water! Well, you know what? That was actually quite fast. 25 seconds? Donkey Kong 64 is next. And man oh man, I wish this game was on Nintendo Switch Online. Or even better, I wish for a sequel. Anyways, after watching this very long intro cutscene, we'll leave DK's house and I know there's a little pond close to his house, so let's quickly get there, and there you go. That was fast. Well, not really if you look at the time, because, I mean, we had 5 minutes of cutscene for like 6 seconds of gameplay. <sighs> We're back to Donkey Kong Country, but the Game Boy Color version. Interesting, right? This one is meant to be a recreation of the SNES game, so if everything goes according to plan, I should find an underwater level after playing a couple ones. And... Yes, this is a faithful recreation of the game. It took me a bit less than 4 minutes, but I'ma be honest, I died a couple times because, man, the Game Boy screen is so small and seeing the enemy isn't always easy. The widescreen of the Game Boy Advance will hopefully make me better at the game, because yes, we're playing Donkey Kong Country again. <sighs> this one never gets old. Well, there's an intro cutscene this time around, so we're gonna waste some time watching it. Ugh. Thankfully, the rest of the game is pretty faithful to the original, meaning that after beating three levels, we'll get underwater and the objective will be completed. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat is that weird GameCube game that you need to play using the DK bongos. And well, getting used to playing this game takes a while. But thankfully, after the first level, we'll slide down this hill to land in a water puddle. Sure, this might not be a full proper lake, but it's refreshing nonetheless. Donkey Kong Country 2 again? Man, I feel like I'm only playing the same games over and over again. This time, it's the GBA remake. And well, it is actually pretty faithful to the original SNES version, albeit a bit slower, not gonna lie. Play the first three levels, and then you'll fall down into the water and complete the objective. DK King of Swing for the GBA is up. And this game is a bit different, but it's still kind of fun. The thing is, there is no water to be seen. Like, I played the tutorial, I played the first world, I even beat a freaking boss, and then I made my way to a desert, got destroyed by a tornado, went inside of a mine, and then 40 minutes later, I made my way to the third world, Aqua Reef. 
And wow, finally some water! Man, I had to play through like half the game just to see a droplet of water. <sighs> that was difficult. Donkey Kong Country 3 on GBA is next. And please bring back the world map that features all of the water. <gasps> Thank you so much. Yay! And even better, you control Dixie as soon as the game starts, so there's no intro cutscene or anything! Two seconds. That's all it took to touch water. This is gonna be hard to beat, that's for sure. DK Jungle Climber is a sequel to King of Swing, and I hope I won't have to beat half the game again just to touch some water. Well, good news! as after about 3 minutes and 30 seconds of gameplay, I reach this section that features some water. So let's just jump to be done with this. Yeah! Donkey Kong Country is back with 2010's Donkey Kong Country Returns, a Wii game that was also ported to the 3DS and that will soon come out for Nintendo Switch. I guess you could say Donkey Kong Country Return Return Returns! Anyways, this game doesn't feature any underwater mechanic, so we're gonna have to find a big lake to jump into and this will probably kill us, but hey, it is what it is. After watching the intro cutscene, I played through 1-1 and this level doesn't feature any water whatsoever. Thankfully, the second level actually features a giant waterfall that drops down over there, so theoretically, by jumping down there, we jump in some water, which is exactly what we need for this quest. Our final game of the day, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Cheese, actually features underwater mechanics, meaning that they're gonna be introduced in the very first level. Right after the intro cutscene, which we cannot skip sadly, well, we'll bust out of this plane and then we'll dive right into some lovely water. <sighs> Refreshing, what a great way to end the challenge. Here are the results for today's epic water challenge. Are the results what you expected? No? Yes? Maybe? Eh, let me know. And look at those members! Hit the join button today if you want to join Team BBQ and see your name right there. And tap the cards on screen for more videos. Bye!